the Rank Up sticker collection has recently made it into the game, but it has many secrets, which its maker, Danny Dem, kindly shared with me for this video. He initially uploaded the collection to the workshop earlier in the year. You can still check out these earlier versions if you're interested, link is in this video's description. Valve contacted him about using them for a sticker capsule, but they wanted some changes made to them. He made these adjustments as quickly as he could, because he knows that unexpected problems always arise later on. And he was right. Here's an early sketch of the silver design. It started life rather goofily, but Danny Dam decided that he didn't want silver to be associated with negative connotations, so he changed it early on in its development. Here it is in its first proper, finished state. As it's worn off it reveals the words, Hello, I'm a Smurf, which Valve also wanted removed. The entire original concept had been developed around this scratch of idea, having influenced the kerning and everything. Lil Barnacle suggested a new easter egg, which he included in the rework. When scratched off, it reads, Sorry about the aim. This didn't feel right in a proper font, so he made it handwritten to make it feel more personal. He had originally submitted the silver sticker in the two lower qualities, but Valve wanted it for the highest foil grade, for which he added all kinds of extra details to make it more valuable. The foil version has the scratched off text straight into silver, reversing the original message, just in case you have the sticker and you rank. He tried to make it look as much like silver as possible and felt a subtle blue hint helped to achieve this. The Gold Nova design started life like this, which he initially developed into this idea. He had always had positive experiences when at these ranks, which he conveyed through his early designs for the sticker by making them appear really positive and friendly. In a Berenstain Bear moment of his, Danny Dam claims he thought these ranks had been called Golden Nova ever since he started playing in 2013. When someone pointed out his mistake, he corrected it but it left a gap between the words that he really didn't like. This was the last of the stickers that he worked on. By this point he was tired and he thinks it shows, so he reworked it. And he prefers this new design, thinking it looks like a shooting star. He wanted to use the text, We Are Legion, because these are the ranks with the most players in, but Valve pointed out that most people wouldn't know this, so he removed it along with the area the text once sat. Once the design has been scratched off it reveals MVP, just as he had planned for in his initial sketch. For the more valuable hollow version he wanted it to look as though it had been made of gold. Here's a nice animated version to show the reflections from different angles, which I think is a great way of showcasing what a sticker looks like. And here are the different layers that went into this finished design. The Master Guardian design succeeded early on and required very few changes, though the easter egg got a last minute improvement. When scratched off it used to show only the crown and its reflection, but for both versions of the sticker he changed it so that most of the design is left with AK-47 etched out of the ribbons so that it reads AK-47 Master. Again, this sticker was designed around his own personal experiences. Once he reached the AK ranks, he rarely dropped below them again, so to show this permanence, the Master Guardian sticker is designed to look like a tattoo. Never underestimate the work that goes into stuff. These stickers have enough depth to be featured in A-level English classes. And here are all of the different layers that go into the holo design. Master Guardian Elite again represents his experiences of the game. He said these were the ranks where he started getting more headshots. This rank initially featured a skull, which when combined with the two crossed AKs looked like a skull and crossbones. This had to be removed for the low violence Chinese version. He had two planned ideas, a ski mask and a heavy assault mask. He eventually settled for the latter for its readability at a distance and because the cross could be nicely lined up with the bullet hole. He also felt this kind of mask felt more elite. This was the original sketch, taking him a minute or so to draw. Then he removed the colours, tidied it up, added details and readied it for polishing. And here's the final thing. Again, there's an easter egg. As it's scratched off it reveals the gas mask design underneath, and replaces the AKs with M4s, giving it a decidedly more CT sided theme as well as looking an awful lot like his original idea for a skull and crossbones. He was originally going to keep the skull design for everywhere other than China, but settled on the whole world having the same low violence design because he actually preferred it. DMG was an easy one for him to work on. He nailed it in a single sketch, designing it to look like a cool badge. He initially planned on adding flames because he considered this rank to be one of ELO Hell. Furthering the whole shield theme, once scratched off, all that remains is the central design. He later noticed Captain America's shield looked similar, which he decided was fitting, as you need to be a superhero to go from DMG to Legendary Eagle. Plus he felt that most people at this rank think they deserve to be global but are stuck here because the game is unfair. The hollow sticks closely to the normal design, but looks more colourful. He uses this sticker on some of his weapons, 
The scraped hollow reminds him of Converse shoes, and he says the leftover badge perfectly fits over a circle on the Famas's design. He tried hard to make the legendary eagle design feel like an eSports logo, because by this rank a lot of players have developed an interest in the culture surrounding the game, and it's by learning from pro matches that they'll ultimately reach the next rank up. This sticker originally had eagle spelt in Japanese because he thought it looked cool, but Valve requested it was removed, along with the scratched off get good writing, which wasn't particularly friendly sounding. He replaced this with aim, skill and team play, which every player at this rank should have. He also experimented with GG, but thought it felt a bit out of context. He also had plans for a foil design, which featured a hand-painted normal map for the star, but he accepted that not everything could make it into the collection. Danny Dem says he really enjoyed working on this design, and thinks it's his favourite from the whole collection. Legendary Eagle Master was a challenge. He says that many early designs ended up in the bin, as he kept trying to push them too far, but admits a simpler design worked better on a sticker. Here are a few of the other designs that he experimented with, Illuminati confirmed. This all got removed and he was left with an eagle on a fancy backdrop. He says that values are extremely important for all art, and stickers are no exception. He separated the sticker into three areas, the eagle, the lettering, and lastly, the background. This way the sticker can be read even at small sizes, and your eyes will always be drawn to the eagle. The easter egg for this design has two functions, firstly to make it derank to legendary eagle, and secondly, just to leave the eagle which he thinks looks good on a number of weapons, the Deagle's handle in particular. Ultimately, Valve cut the foil version of this design, which saddened him, but he managed to keep what worked well in the foil version in the hollow design, achieving a gold effect in everything. Danny Dem says that he's hooked to designing stickers and in exploring stuff that nobody has ever done before. It's designs like this LEM one that give him the most joy. Supreme Master First Class started life as a golden snitch, because if you think about it, the rank looks a bit like it but eventually he found a face and what looked like wings either side of it, which reminded him of the Greek god, Hermes. He felt this worked well with the design, representing the player ascending to a higher plane with godlike plays. The picture now looks like a person's mind being blown. Again, Valve wanted him to remove the easter egg, which would have the face replaced with the skull and the text replaced with Supreme Hacker, so instead the stickers scratch off to reveal Supreme Fragger, some skulls, and some pixelated sunglasses on the character as if to say, deal with it. The Chinese version is the same but without the skulls. Danny Dem warns you to be careful. It's possible to scrape this sticker off so much that it breaks the easter egg. He's also pleased with how the hollow version turned out, which you can see here, and the individual layers here. Lastly, the Global Elite sticker. He started out trying to make something like the Daily Planet in Superman, but it didn't work out and he felt the design in Counter-Strike was too good to lose, so he remained faithful to it from then on. His original submission proved too dank for Valve to accept. He originally had simplified AKs to try and make the design more readable, but it ultimately devalued the sticker by making it look like toy guns. He felt the global sticker should be of the highest quality possible. After many iterations, he eventually settled on a design that he was happy with, and the scratch off for the lowest grade of sticker was replaced with a chicken with two P90s, which, in a way, I think is even more dank. Plus it nicely suits global and silver players alike. But for the prestigious foil grade of sticker, he designed it to be super luxurious, and spent a long time playing about with the lighting and reflections. He knew it had to be special, so there were no puns, no written secrets. Just a simple global logo as a sign of respect for the game, and for the most sought after rank within. Those who managed to climb to the ranks of global deserve it. Danny Dem says that working with the CSGO team was awesome and a very smooth experience. He felt free to experiment and they were open to his suggestions. He worked closely with them, since a lot of custom perimeters were required to get these stickers to work. And I think it did. Sadly, the scratched off designs still have visible borders. He knows this, as do Valve. This is something that Danny Dem found a fix to, but sadly it used negative values that would have broken everything, so they had to resort to the standard way of doing them. It may be possible that these borders could be removed at some point in the future, but until then he recommends experimenting with your graphic settings as there are some that can make them almost invisible. Danny Dem is ecstatic about how these designs have turned out, and by the positive feedback from the community, which he says he is grateful and humbled by. He can't wait to start work on more sticker designs and to dabble with new effects, ideas and easter eggs. He feels the possibilities are endless. He has two new collections in the works, one themed around the maps and the other which he'll keep a secret for now. Check out his workshop in this video's description and feel free to give him some feedback which he says is valuable to him.
Thank you to Danny Dem for working with me on this video, and best of luck to him in the future. Check out my video on the update that introduced his sticker collection here, and here for a skin showcase that features a massively in-depth section for Danny Dem's poor poor skin, which he also kindly shared with me in great detail.